Hi guys, so we're down here at Ping HQ here with Dr. Paul Wood, who is the VP of Product Engineering. Yeah. There we go. That's the best way of describing <laughs> it. It's the Vice President of Product Engineering. But most importantly, forget me, forget Paul. We are honoured and delighted to be here with Pingman. <laughs> so Pingman is the robot tester that is used down here and has been created by Carsten Solheim. 1966, am I right in saying? 75. Think, 76. Before my time. You probably started thinking about it in 66, but yeah. actually created it in 75. And this is Mark 5, so the fifth edition. We got to see it in action yesterday. I'm going to throw some clips up on the screen as well. It is just phenomenal. It is such an amazing piece of kit. So, let's get some stats. How fast can it go first? Because that's probably the question a lot of people want to ask. I know the fastest we've swung in is 158 miles an hour with a standard length driver. I know they've done some fun games with a kind of longer problem. Yeah, One, and that ball went how and that, far? That ball was still going, I, it, was, it wasn't coming down when it went over our fence at 350 yards. <laughs> so the, and it, it went into the bus station and we stopped tracking it at that point. <laughs> so, yeah, it went, it's not ours. And then we got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ping man, just blame him. <laughs> so yeah, the range down here is 350 yards and they've had to make the fence longer for only two people. Pingman and Bubba Watson. So this, this fence has gone much higher now and it's a much longer carry. And I, you've got Bubba down here next week, haven't you? We have, maybe and we it, should do a long drive competition. With him. Why would you not? <laughs> it seems perfectly logical. <laughs> you could even get him to hit at the same time. Well, Pingman, well, maybe Bubba wouldn't get We could set up that. some of our grass right out here. Wasn't That'd we? be a great little competition. And um, so 158 miles per hour, that hits the ball an awful long way. But more importantly, it does testing on new products do you get many competitors' products on this machine as well? We'll do some. We probably do less competitive testing than you might think. Yeah. Um, I've just been speaking to Marty and he mentioned about you, you, you guys chase the dream and not the competition so much. Yeah, as much as we can. As yeah, much yeah. As we, obviously, you have to at least keep one eye on, on what's going on. But yeah, we're focused on how do we, if we keep making our own product better, then we feel like that's going to work. Yeah. Us, you know, and, and if we focus too much on the competition, it's easy to get distracted and, and and kind of lose focus. So for us, it's just how do we keep going longer, straighter, better? Yeah. So when testing on Pingman, and we saw a little bit of this yesterday with Doug, wasn't it? The guy who mainly, it's his child, Pingman, isn't it? Doug, Doug is the Doug, Pingman guru. Yeah. <laughs> Doug is Pingman's dad. Um, when you test stuff, you look at strike location as well. Yeah, that's something we're really it in good for. So nine different places, is that right? That's our standard. We've done a lot of other, um, uh, other type tests, and okay. we're developing a 27 location test at some point. On the club face. And then Doug did point out how long that would take him to do a test, <laughs> and so we compromised on nine. Because what's quite interesting here, they use Trapman and GC2 with HMT, but the wind has to be lower than five miles per hour, is that right? Yeah, for our, for our standard, it depends what we're testing. But, yeah. but even at five miles an hour, it brings in enough variability that it kind of messes with our data. But we were here yesterday, and Pingman was hitting a five iron 185 yards, and there was a white flag that's directly in line with where he was hitting. And even the shots yesterday were just veering, just a little bit left and right. Now they were used golf balls, or at least hit once, weren't they? Because Pingman only normally hits brand new Pro Vs. Yeah, so we'll do all our setup shots with, with used Pro Vs. There's and two then, buckets yeah. here, and I'll show you a clip on the screen as well. I've got a clip of that already. One big bucket of full Pro V1s, brand new, never been hit ever. And a bucket of, you can't really call them second used <laughs> golf balls, because they still look brand new, but they have been hit before with Pingman. Um, so he only ever uses brand new balls because you were saying about, or the, I think it was Doug maybe yesterday was saying, as soon as that ball's been hit, there is some yeah, there'll be some level, level of, of deficiency in a, in a way. All it takes is a couple of wedge shots that really you know dig into the cover a little yeah. bit. So we just want to take that out of the equation totally. We need new balls to the range anyway. So yeah. Pingman is the one who gets to hit them first and then we get to use them on player testing afterwards. That is so cool, it's unbelievable. And like I say, I've got loads of videos, footage that I've put in this video as well, of Pingman hitting, it's, it's, it's great to actually see. I've seen a couple of robot testing in action before. I do product testing online and I would love something like this that would obviously help. So how much would this, am I allowed to get one of these? Is there a Mark VI coming we'll, out? We'll do, you a, uh, we'll do you a deal, we'll talk awesome. about it afterwards. So guys, I'm yeah. going to see if I can get this uh, back on the plane going home. So thanks so much to Dr. Paul Wood for his time here. Um, and Pingman, mainly importantly, and all the information that he div gives us. And I'm sure Ping as well, I mean, he must be the oldest serving employee here after John. He's disturbingly not quite, but he's been here a long There's time. There's a lot of 30 years. There's a lot of guys who've been here longer than I've been yeah, alive, exactly. which, is, <laughs> which is pretty cool. All around the, the facilities, big boards, and it's like 30 plus, 25 plus years that service. And so many, 
But what I will say is he's he's the best workhorse. He's the best. Uh, he's complains. the best player tester. Doesn't need holidays. Doesn't need food. He's he's a he's a good employee. I know he's hit more than half a million shots here. So uh, half a million. More than half a million. Wow. Right, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video with a little bit of insight of Pingman. I think it's a great pleasure to be in such great presence and you know celebrity status that, that uh, Pingman offers. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, do subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much, Paul. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time. So where are you based? Uh, so I live in Manchester, but work out of living.